So this week I'm doing things a little bit differently. Instead of the typical vlog, because this week is literally exactly like last week, I'm just sitting in a classroom all day long. Um, I am going to challenge myself this week and that challenge is coming up with a strict morning routine and sticking to it. That probably sounds pretty weird um, and boring, but I am a firm believer that morning routines are so important. I think morning is the most important part of the day because it sets you up for either success or failure. Nearly got chased down by a dog. You know, it happens sometimes. Anyway, what I was saying is morning routines, I think, set off your day either for success or for failure. And the reason I say that is because if you start off your day with like meditation and thinking good things and doing good things and like completing tasks, that is going to set you up for a day where you are being nice to others and thinking of others and completing tasks. If you do the opposite and you start your day off with being rude to people, you're grumpy, you just don't care about anything, then uh, you're probably gonna be grumpy to people all day long and people aren't really gonna like you. Trust me, I know from experience. All right, so, step one, you gotta wake up to your alarm. You should be out of bed within the first two minutes of waking up. Number two, make your bed right away. If you do this, then you're setting yourself up for success and the rest of the day, you're most likely going to be better at completing little tasks. Step three, get your heart pumping. This does not mean you have to like do a huge workout. You can literally do what I'm doing, just getting up and taking a walk. Step four, meditate. So step three is really important for this. I think that it helps to feel your, the blood rushing through you before you meditate. Um, but I think meditation is the most important part of this morning routine because it really helps you to just sit and reflect on life, but it also helps you to look around and appreciate everything around you. So like being in Thailand, sitting and just looking, it really helps a lot. Like I just, I don't know, Thailand is one of those places that you look around and like, I feel like it's easy to be kind of cynical and think like, oh, this place is so down, blah, blah, blah. But like really, when you sit and look, it's so amazing and beautiful. Step five, write in a journal. This is probably like the hardest thing for people to do, um, but I think it's so important. I am really bad at it, but I'm really trying to be better about it. And that is one part that's really hard for this morning routine. I think it's so important to write down your memories and how you felt. Yeah, and it's always, sometimes it's funny to look back on like how you felt. Step six, you gotta drink a lot of water. Step seven, eat a healthy breakfast. People that skip breakfast, I don't understand them. I'm starving in the morning. I mean, you just fasted all night long, so you gotta eat. And step eight, this is where you can get on your phone, check social media, post something if you want, like, yeah. But basically, that means that all through the morning before this, no picking up your phone. So good. But some mornings, it's just not gonna happen. <laughs> you hear that alarm go off and you are just, no, that is the last thing you wanna do. I know that some mornings, it's hard, but I mean, that's why I made this a challenge because, well, <laughs> here you go. Here's a great example. This morning, I did not want to get up at all. I just wanted to sleep in. I had a very tiring last couple days. All I wanted to do was just stay in my comfy bed and sleep, especially since I felt like I got no sleep last night, which that happened. But I guess the reason that I put this video together this week was because since moving here, I feel like my whole just routine of anything has just been totally off. What I do in the morning really matters because it will usually change what vibe people are getting from me throughout the day. And some of you guys might be thinking this is super silly, but I mean, if you start your day off right, then the rest of your day is most likely going to be good. Even if you have something that happens that is just like, oh, 
you're probably going to have a better outlook at it. I believe that mental health is so much more important than physical health, which is why my morning routine really centers around like meditation and having like my alone time, writing in my journal, all of that, rather than like working out. But yeah, when you start your day off right, you'll have good days. <laughs> Just give it a try. I mean, if you want to, it's whatever. Thank you.